Hey YouTube, what up? This is Brian Easy, just coming back to you guys today with a comparison. And this time I will be comparing the P method of applying uh, thermal heat sink paste versus the spread method, okay? So basically, first off, I'm going to do the spread method, okay? Okay, we're going to apply the spread method now. And something interesting to note, guys, is that, yeah, silicon grease is still pretty pretty moist, like it's relatively wet. And I've applied that for about three months now, I think. So silicon grease is great, is a great thermal paste, basically. Now, the reason I'm doing this, guys, is because uh, people have said, like, oh, you know, the P method is just the God method. You know, so I'm going to test them today. I'm going to compare them head-to-head, -head spread versus P. Hey, okay guys, and as you can see, we're at 25 degrees ambient temperatures here. So, let's begin the spread method. Booyah! Hey, okay guys, we have real temp running, and we're just about to stress test this. So, just stress test in place, maximum heat. Booyah! Let's, let, let's give that five minutes, guys. Spread method, let's give it five minutes, and see when we come back, see what temperatures we have. Okay guys, we've given that a good, you know, more than five minutes, and as we can see, this is the spread method. We've reached 65 degrees, 70, 71 degrees, 70 degrees, and 66 degrees Celsius max across the board at 4.2 gigahertz, as you can see there. Anyway, let's get on to everybody's favorite, the P method. Let's test the B method this time. So let's we got real temp open here in place, maximum heat, power consumption, some RAM tested. And let's give that five minutes and we'll come back. We're coming back five minutes later and we can see we've got 66 degrees, 72 degrees, 72 degrees and 67 degrees on the P method. Okay guys, so there we have it, the spread method versus the P method. Now, the spread method one by one degree, but we can put that down to variance, as the minimum temperature was also one degree higher, which means that everything probably heated up whilst I was doing the tests, the actual room temperatures. So, the bottom line is, guys, there really is no fucking difference how you apply your thermal heatsink paste. What is crucial is that you apply a thin layer, and I mean thin, guys, a thin layer of thermal paste between your heatsink and your CPU. So, there we have it, guys. If you are doing the P method, aka the God method, as you guys consider it, please do not give people shit who do the spread method, as all in all, they really don't make much of a difference. So, I remember one of my subscribers, Kevin, uh, you put me onto a tech syndicate link and I was watching that video thoroughly and I noticed that tech syndicate had said that they had tested the spread method and it was horrible. So my results here are quite the contrary. They are the same. So anyway guys, if you've got any comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope this video has enlightened uh, a lot of you guys or has helped you guys and it, Please subscribe to keep the Brian easy going. And peace out for now, guys.